Uh, hello, YouTube. Nah, that's wank. Yo, YouTube, what's up? You're nearly 48, you fucking divvy. Hey, YouTube. Oh, fucking bastard. So, this is my first video. Do you know what to say, really? Well, uh, my name's Mickey. I'm from a place in England called No Shields. And, um... I'm what's known as a reseller. So it's basically, I garner boot car boot sales, charity shops, church jumble sales and that. And I buy stuff what's there, and then I sell it for more online. So with this YouTube channel, right, what I'm going to do is take his around with us while I'm out looking for Mickey's Mega Parkins. <laughs> Anyways, today... We're going to go to my favourite charity shop. It's proper cheap. And I've got loads and loads of class stuff from there. Only problem is, the wifeys who work there, right? One of them in particular, Norma, is... Well, she's a pure fucking arsehole. Anyway, guys, remember to smash that like button and I'll catch up with you on the hunt for the bargains. How do you stop this fucking... Ah, oh, there. Here we are guys, just outside the Biff Cat Society shop in No Shields And I'm just looking in the window I can see some bits and pieces that definitely weren't here the other day So as fingers crossed they've had a restock Let's go on in and see what we can get <laughs> Get Good afternoon gentlemen What are you looking so happy about? Oh well Trevor, I'm aware yourself Derek and the other lads seem to find great enjoyment at my disabilities, i.e. my missing foot. Therefore, I have taken it upon myself to be a wee bit of a Dr. Frankenstein and to fashion myself something rather special. No, no, you haven't. Oh, oh, oh. There's no way you've made yourself a foot out of used chewer and a fucking old netty ticket. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake, I can't breathe. <laughs> Clive, you're an absolute spagger, but I fucking love you, kid. <laughs> what a belter. That's Norma. Miserable twat. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. You see that fat thing that's just waddled in? That's Barry. He does the same thing I do, selling online and that. But he always seems to get the best stuff before I get to it. I'm sure he's trying to rattle that Norma. Also, I'm pretty certain that Norma keeps some of the best stuff out the back, especially for him. I should report her. But, you know, I'm not a grass. Well, good afternoon, beautiful. Hello, Barry Pet. How are you doing? Well, <laughs> I'm most certainly better for seeing you. Yeah. Stop it. What are you like? Hey, how have you been? Non-stop as always. I was meant to be retiring last year, but you know, this place was kind of fucking shit. Calling me French without me. Ah, yes. Message understood. <laughs> anyway... What are you talking about retirement? You can't retire in your 30s. Barry, flattery gets you everywhere. Speaking of which, I've put some things away for you that you might be interested in. Give us two seconds, Flower. Look at this. This is a Charlie Low Noise and Mental Theo t-shirt. They are a Dutch DJ duo. Very big in the happy hardcore scene in the mid-90s. This t-shirt is for the Wonderful Days track. Now that was a proper banger of a tune. I found a love but it didn't last. Wonderful days. What a bella. Only two quid. 
This will sell for 40 baht all day long. Rave merch from the 90s. Keep your eyes open for it, people. Now that is a mega bargain. But I love loads of different genres of music, me man. Rave, rap, rock, but especially reggae, man. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> right. What have we got here then? Oh, I've got this. A Star Trek toy. I know you like them kind of things. Yes, yes. Beautiful. No matter that is beautiful. And I've got these trainers as well. The fella died. His wife brought them in brand new. He never even got a chance to wear them, the poor bastard. Let them in. Well, I'll definitely take them. Oh, and I've kept this back because I know you're a crazy bugger. Look at that! Try it on. Oh, give it to you, don't it? Hey, 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 look at it. Oh. You look like that, eh? Rasta man singer. Oh, Bob Marley. Oh, hey. Could you be Lord? And in love. Fucking idiot. Could you be? Could you be? Could you be loved? I could you be? Could you be loved? Oh, I could you be? Could you be? Could you be loved? You don't know about reggae. Nino, Nino. It's the fun police. Barry, you're not a funny man. You're a. Molly. <laughs> so excellent projections, eh? What? Projection, mate. Don't call me Mike. Oh, look, projection. It's a process of displacing one's feelings onto another person. Probably subconsciously struggling with low self-esteem. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be well-versed in Freudian psychologies. E, I could just listen to Barry talk all day long. He's like a poet. I... But I've got no idea what he's said to be quite honest with you. Norma, Norma, is it okay if I nip over me quick see now? It's just I've done all the men's wear stuff. I've just got to go through that bad and that tummy that I bought in. And I've sprayed it with a human and because it smelled like actual piss. Right, go get yourself a ciggy and mind your language when you're on that shop floor. I am sorry. Name Bob Marley's first album. Bob Marley's first album was Soul Rebel. Uh, uh, his first album was The Wheel and Wheel Ass. <gasps> you sure about that, are we? Aye. You, you big gonk. Look, The Wheel and Wheelers was released by The Wheelers. It's a little bit of a clue in the title there. Bob Marley was, of course, a member of The Wheelers. However, the first studio album release for Bob Marley and the Wheelers with Soul Rebels in 1970. <laughs> Feel free to Google it. Are you all right? You look a bit hot under the collar there, Mike. Ooh. Ha! Look at this fucking monkey pigeon. Oh, ha, look. Look. It's got a fucking metro ticket as a photo. Yeah, set it on fire. Set it on fire. <laughs> Look, I know I need to cut back on getting wrecked. I had a James Corden dream again. That's the second time this week. So I'm sat there in a big fuck off bowl of custard. And it's like arm the crumble. So I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? Then I hear this noise. It's like. I look up and there's this massive spoon coming towards us. So I try and shift it away. But the viscosity of the custard keeps us there. Next thing I know. I'm on the spoon, heading for his gob, and he's like, hee hee, my pudding, <laughs> my pudding, hee hee hee. And I'm going mental like, no, no, David Scranners. And just before the spoon gets to his mouth, I wake up pure sweating. Now, 
I've got no idea if there's any meaning to it, but fuck me, it's pure trippy shit. So if I was a woman, thank God I'm not, because I think I'd be a terrible existence. Get hot and get rich, dude. Like, why? And they go, oh, yeah, but maybe he leaves you. He won't leave you unless you fuck it up. Just be quiet. Now, maybe you have more than just some big tits. Maybe you're also a nice person. It's unlikely, but maybe you... Fucking idiot. Are men trash? Oh, cis, heterosexual men, absolutely, especially white men. The especially white men. The especially white men. The especially white men. White men. Yeah. Fucking moron. I will do it. And just to show. Just to show. Just to show. Okay. So this is quite yellow here. You fucking rotter. The world's going fucking mental. Yeah, fuck this. Funny fat people. Whoop, ya bugger. <laughs> Wanna bella? Hi, I'm Kiko. I'm 23. Uh, I go to UCSB and I also bartend. Oh, God. Oh, look. He's stuck. He's stuck. Oh, there's a burger there. <laughs> He's getting up. He's getting up. <laughs> oh, greedy.